Hi, my name is Brandon Wolkers and I'll be your instructor for this video. In this tutorial, you'll be editing and adding dashboards. For demonstration purposes, we are in a Salesforce Developer Edition. Click on the Edit button to add and edit components for your dashboard. The panel on the left will show components and data sources. The panel on the right shows how your dashboard will be displayed to the user. Let's create a dashboard as an example. We are going to take our report Leads Created Today from one of our other reports and add its own dashboard. Let's click on the Go to Dashboard list and then at the top click New Dashboard and now we have a blank dashboard to begin our creation process. To add a component you could choose the graph you want displayed in the left panel and then drag and drop it in the dotted line in any column. We'll select the Gauge component for this example. Then click the Data Source tab and select the report from where you want to pull the data. We'll use the Quick Find for our report Leads Created Today then drag and drop it into an empty component. Now the report we want to use gives us an error because you could only use summary or matrix reports for your dashboard components. So open a new browser window and go back into reports. Find your leads created a day report and click customize. Near the preview header you'll see tabular format. Click on the arrow to see the drop down to select the summary format. Then we will need a grouping field. For this particular report, we'll need the create date as our grouping field. So we search create date and drag and drop it into the grouping field area. Now click save. Now let's go back to the dashboard and drag over our leads created today data source back into our component. You will now see the active component. You can now use the graph to judge a quota for leads coming in today but your quota will obviously be different from what Salesforce provides. So click on the settings button to see the formatting options. For example, let's say you have a small business that only gets a few leads daily. We'll have a minimum set to zero, the first breakpoint set to two, the second breakpoint set at five, and the maximum range at ten. We do not need it here, but you could also format the component data to display different units, as well as where to drill down when clicking on the component. Most of the time, you will use the defaults. Click OK to save the formatting. Reorder components by dragging and dropping. Edit headers, titles, and footers just by clicking on the area. In a more advanced dashboard, you could add filters to your dashboard to refine the data to display. Set up correctly, you could create a single dashboard with one set of source reports to serve a wider audience. One feature we do not want to overlook as an administrator is the View This Dashboard As feature. Select a user to see the dashboard as it would be displayed to them. I see an error for this user, which would generally be caused by your permission setting. Now save this dashboard. We'll call it My Personal Dashboard for now, and save it in My Personal Dashboards. After saving, it may take a few minutes to generate. 